Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to this webinar. I'm just gonna wait for a couple of seconds um, to start. I see that people are still arriving. So let me just, I see, I need to plug in my computer. All right, this is better. Apparently it was like. Hello, Roman. Hi, Camera. All right, let me see if I can share my screen. Let me just close a little. A few other things here. So we're waiting two to two more minutes for people to arrive. If there's any, if you have any questions or if you don't hear me, just post it in the questions box on the right hand side. So from the beginning, let me share my screen so you will be able. Sharing, screen sharing, there we go. Awesome. All right, from Florida. Awesome. Good. Let's get started. So welcome everybody to this webinar regarding the seven levels of communication that create uh, an integrated communication matrix. My name is Walter. I'm one of the co-founders of Involve Internet and with me is Ken, our customer success manager. So before diving into the content, let me quickly introduce Involve. For the people that don't know us, um, Evolve was founded. Well, the organization was founded in 2007 by myself and one of our uh, one of our co-founders, Tim Bogemans. We've been working until um, 2016, 17. We've done uh, consultancy projects for all uh, large companies um, in Belgium and abroad. Um, since uh, in 2016, actually, we decided to make uh, the switch and create a product because we've been we at that point microsoft was announcing the sharepoint framework which allowed us to uh, create a um, full end-to-end -end solution instead of creating everything for large organizations only um, so we started the development in 2017 in 2000 uh, yeah end of 2017 2018 we launched our uh, first uh, version of involve intranet and in 2019, we won uh, the, the, our first international award. Um, small picture of our team, let me see. Um, so in 2019, we've won our first uh, international award. A couple of weeks ago, uh, we won the um, Clearbox uh, Choice Award, which we are very proud of. Clearbox is an international organization if you just um, uh, Google uh, Clearbox, 
you'll definitely find their website. You can even download the report nowadays. It used to be a paying report. Nowadays, they changed their model. So you can download the report. Um, so we've been winning awards uh, worldwide uh, for a couple of years now, and we're very proud of the Internet Choice Awards that we uh, received recently uh, from Clearbox, um, as they do think we are the best um, Internet Choice um, Internet platform uh, on SharePoint or on Microsoft today. Okay, small picture of our team. Um, so what is involved and um, why did we create Involve? Um, so Involve is a communication platform built upon on top of the Microsoft 365 um, ecosystem that makes it a lot easier for people from a communication department or business or people in the business to um, create uh, and share news, basically. So that's what we help organizations to do. So to make communication easy, boost the culture and help everybody to be more productive. How do we do that? Well, we make it very easy to communicate um, news throughout the organization. We help you to uh, send targeted news to different audiences. We have a uh, mobile application. So it's basically Involve Internet is a uh, single platform, but we do have a multi-channel approach. So for us, what are the different channels? That can be a digital signage, like the large screens, um, that are still in the offices. It can be email, uh, text messages, uh, push notifications on the mobile app, whatever you want. So you have one version of the truth being spread out over all these different channels. So um, the digital workplace or the internet is probably the only, uh, the only solution or the only um, application that is um, fully customized to the organization. If you're looking at um, SAP, Dynamics, uh, Salesforce, or other um, solutions, usually these solutions are not integrated within the um, experience for the employees. Whereas digital workplace or the internet is fully customizable. Um, so you basically configure it or use it the way you want, uh, you want it to work. Uh, we do have a lot of templates already uh, included. But if you're an organization and you wish to create um, your own templates or your own custom design, your full custom design, you're per we're perfectly able uh, to create that together with you. Um, organizations we work for, just to give you an idea, we are uh, based in um, Belgium. We do have offices in uh, the UK as well. And we're looking at um, opening offices in US. The um, organizations we work for are usually large uh, international organizations. We're talking Hill Dickinson, um, the Shaw Education Trust, um, Aqua Scott, uh, Plan International. So we do have for-profit, non-profit organizations uh, within a variety, a variety of um, verticals. We're not only a technological uh, solution. We um, we do believe that change uh, is a very important aspect of our projects. So we always use like our recipe, which are um, helping with the kickoffs, the workshops. If you've already done that work, great. Uh, then we'll we'll dive in into um, configuring everything, and we'll definitely help you with the launch of the entire solution with the communication. And once everything is set and rolling. Then you go into hypercare, which is our, everything you see here is included within the Evolve Internet package. Okay, going to um, going to the the content um, of our um, webinar today. So the seven um, layers or the seven building blocks that create a full communication matrix. This model was uh, created by us, and um, this model is based on uh, different um, different uh, models coming from psychology, like um, it's um, the book from um, W. Graves, the level uh, the levels of human existence. The, um, it's based on uh, Maslow's hierarchy of human needs, the five um, uh, the five needs from Maslow. The six human needs that you can find in psychology, um, in neurolinguistic programming, 
and as well uh, the chakras that have been used uh, during ages uh, in Hinduism and in uh, today's uh, Buddhism. So when we combine all of these models, um, you get a pyramid structure, um, a pyramid-like structure of communication. Uh, whereas the, starting at the base levels, that this type of com the type of communication starting at the base is important for everybody. And as we move up the pyramid, it's um, it's a different type of communication, but not necessarily as important for everybody. So why is it important to to have a um, why is it important to have a communication matrix or a pyramid? Well. Um, Usually, what, what I always say is, what well, what you don't see kills you, and um, everybody is different in the organization, and everybody has a different style of communicating. So, and everybody's at a different level of how must I say, if we take it more holistically, of um, consciousness, of they, everybody has a different focus. Um, so. Because everybody is that different within your organization, it's very important to create a matrix and to 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 be aware that you have to communicate on all these different levels. Because we're usually a small team. If we're talking about internal communication, even within large organizations, we usually see it's a handful of people um, that's responsible for the internal communication. So we all have our own state of consciousness. We all have our own focus, and um, we all have our, um, like we say, our. Uh, we all have our own base, um, our own home, our own home that we always go to if it's coming to an emotional, from an emotional point of view. So it's very important to know all the different ones and to be able to communicate to different people, to to the entire group, uh, from uh, different angles. Okay. Um, so the the seven levels that we're going to talk about you can use them as a pyramid or you can also use them as a wheel as is done in buddhism um so that's that depends on you in order uh, for me to explain the 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 seven levels we're gonna have well uh, like the five y's and the h uh, that's usually used in communicate in in every communication type so we're gonna see uh, i'm going to explain when is when is it important to use this communication when is this communication required why is it important what do we need to communicate where is it coming from so who's responsible for creating this type of communication who is my target audience and who are we going to communicate to no sorry not who how am i going to communicate how are we going to communicate this so we're talking about the five w's and one h um, this makes it easier to explain actually the, the seven levels okay let's let's dive in level one so level one of uh, the communication matrix is uh, survival um, Everybody has this need, every human being, um, every being in general has um, the need to survive. This is one of our most uh, primary, deeply rooted needs. Um, so um, the need for survival is, is there within everybody. When is it triggered or when is it important to send this type or this level of, um, of message? Let me just give you an example. We had a couple of months ago, we had one of our customers who's a public company. Um, the, all the employees saw in the newspaper, um, had to read in the newspaper that they were um, being merged with another organization. So basically the other organization took over um, or absorbed um, the entire company. So they had to learn that through the newspaper. So I can only, well, you can only imagine when people came into the office, the people that came into the office on Monday morning, that they had a lot of questions. Will my job be still be available? Will I, will I be fired? Um, uh, um, what's going to happen? Um, so, Basically, the entire the survival of the survival 
survival instinct of every person was triggered. So here, in this case, you're in time of great uncertainty. Our survival instinct, our survival mechanism gets triggered. So what kind of communication do we need? We need certainty. This is our um, is the, the primary need. You need certainty. You need to be, you need to know whether your job is going to still be there. You're going to be able to access the office next week or not. Where does this information need to come from? From the person with the highest possible authority. So what happened here and who is the sent to? Obviously everybody, everybody in the organization. So um, how is this presented? To give you an idea, what happened uh, with our customer, the CEO got in uh, first thing um, Monday morning. He had a, uh, he addressed everybody within the organization. For the people that were not in the office at that time, there, there was a personal video message recorded, shared on the um, internet and um, sent uh, by email and the mobile app to everybody. So basically we had a full 360 degrees approach um, on how to share the, the news. Um, and um, yeah, so that's that was based on animation or the video. Well, what gets triggered uh, in case of survival, you get the fight, flight or freeze. Um, basic instincts. Level one, the organization. Let's take it one notch up. Okay, level two, law, law and order. Every, um, every human being uh, in times of change. Let's, let's go back to this example. Um, once the merger, um, once the merger is announced, there's gonna be a lot of change. People don't like change. Some, some people like it, most people don't like it. So uh, why? Because change brings uncertainty. Um, so what do we need to communicate? We need to communicate. Um, people want structure. People need to know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. So what we need to do is we need, again, we need to provide them certainty. We need to provide structure. And when is this? Well, this is in time of change. And as we all know, an organization, there's always one department in the organization that's going through heavy changes. So what do we communicate? What type of communication are we talking about? We're talking about protocols, guidelines, rules, how to, what are you, if you wanna call it traditions like these two companies merging, every company wants to know, okay, uh, what's going to happen to our culture, our traditions? So these are things that you wanna communicate. Now, this type of communication is different. This is, um, these are usually written procedures, documents, workflows, automations, um, um, some, uh, documents you must read, like you, we have like a mandatory read component within Evolve Internet. So you can use the mandatory read component just to know that everybody within your organization has read certain documents. Um, we biggest example, and everybody's had this uh, over the last two years, was COVID. All the regulations that changed constantly. People had to had to sign off on, depending the business you're in, obviously. But we had organizations that uh, people had to sign off. Um, that they read all the different regulations and new procedures, etc. So usually these are within procedures, workflows. Um, this is less personal. No video here. Um, where does this come? Where does this information comes from? Now this comes from a person with author authority, but it doesn't have have to come from C level or uh, management. Usually this is the plus one that communicates down um, in the organization. Um, who is it for? Well, depending on the change for the entire organization or at a team level. Going back to our example, uh, they had to create some new uh, onboarding, offboarding, uh, new procedures for the entire organization. Um, and they had others uh, from a um, IT perspective or from a uh, sales perspective more at a team level. So this is a level two. Again, we're, we're uh, focusing here in this type of communication, we're focusing on the primary need of certainty. Level three, okay, let's, everybody knows they're going to survive and we're um, certain about how we want to do, how we need to do certain things. Let's take it up one level again. 
Now we're going uh, at level three, a different need, um, actually the need for people to be seen. Everybody in the organization wants to be seen um, from time to time. Depending on the person, we all know there's people that want to be seen all the time and we all know there's people um, that don't like to be seen. They don't want to get into the picture too much. Um, but everybody deserves it. If they don't deserve it, they shouldn't be working in the organization. So everybody wants to be a hero or a rock star from time to time. Um, so what do we communicate, right? Um, well, you communicate individual team achievements, these, these type of things, depending on the culture you're in right now, um, the organizational culture or the country you're living in, these um, are things that you should do but th that don't always happen or that are less um, practiced. So individual, what are we going to communicate? We're going to communicate individual and team achievements. Um, if people don't like to get into the picture, well, maybe you can communicate um, a global achievement or a, a specific project. Like if you know, okay, these people have worked on this, but it's not really the, it's, it's more of a supporting group. Um, well, you can you can put a certain project in the picture, and it will definitely uh, they'll get the message. Obviously, um, okay. Where um, where does this information come from? Usually, um, we need to get that information as a communication expert. We need to get that information uh, from the peers, top down, but we definitely need to get that information out of them. There's a lot of um, wins or heroes. Um, to be in the organization, but it's it's a active job to get that information out of um, out of the organization, out of the people. Who's this for? Well, usually we say it's global because um, you could do it at the team level as well. But usually at the team level, people know. Uh, making it global makes other people aware of the different teams, different departments working in the organization, and makes the organization. Uh, function better as one. How is this usually done? Usually we see this as a news item in Involve Intranet. Uh, people use the news, um, the news items with a personal picture of the team, of the person, um, and it's usually time bound. So within Involve, you can choose um, to publish a news item, for example, let's, let's say from the 25th until the 3rd of March, we need um, one team to be in the picture or one person to be in the picture awesome so we make it time bound um, and that works perfectly within organizations to fulfill the need for significance okay going to our next level now if these three basic needs are fulfilled let's take it one notch up the the, the level four that that we've seen um, in the models and during throughout the years is the um, the need for connection people grave um, honest connections it's it's all about people and i know a lot of organizations say that when they're when they're gonna, when they're communicating on the outside towards their customers but some organizations tend to forget that when they're talking about the internal organization the internal people so People really need have a, a need for connection. Um, when when can we do this? Uh, well, all the time. We need to do this all the time. Sharing, caring. Um, if this is the the baseline, if you want to start creating a culture, this is where you start. You don't start at the procedures, and you don't start at the even not with the heroes. It's, it's all nice. It's good for people to have the significance. It's good to have their, their certainty, but you don't build a connection with that. All right. This is the first level of the pyramid. If you want to start creating a culture, this is where you start. So what do we communicate? What type of communications do we see? All right. Here we see um, groups being launched, um, initiatives being taken, um, teams being built, around uh, this kit usually this type of um, the content if we're looking at the content from a content point of view this has um this is sometimes about projects running across different departments to make something better 
um, initiatives internally, but this is, has a lot of communication initiatives um, that has nothing to do, that have nothing to do, sorry, with um, the core business. We see um, a ton of um, groups being launched like walking. Uh, I love walking, let's, let's start a team or a group together. Um, um, dogs. The, let's let's walk the dogs together. Let's let's meet up for barbecue. So these are all things that are done, like working for a social profit. There's there's um, a benefit uh, being organized. Can we um, can we attend as a group? And can the organization even support us in in attending? So this can go from culture to sports to to environmental we we see these groups being launched all the time um what kind of how are they doing it well they're usually using the news items where with the social aspect so you can you can create a news item um and enable or disable the social aspect underneath so people can like or subscribe same for events people can add it to their calendar subscribe um, or polls, if just to check if people are interested in something, or ideation. Ideation board is some of these one other components that's that's being used a lot to create a connection. Where is this information coming from? Usually your loudest fans. We all know who these people are. Again, there's there's always a small group of fans within every organization. So Take a look, um, ask as a communication specialist or expert, ask for each department or for each team, okay, who's your loudest fan? Who's really present in the group? Um, are they willing to, to share this? Are they willing to participate in this? And this is how a culture gets started. Uh, who's this for? The entire organization, um, across all levels. Um, this information, if we're looking at this type of uh, communication, this um, building a culture, we see that in the beginning, this takes effort, this takes time. This is like the snowball that we're always talking about. It takes a lot of time and effort in the beginning. Once this gets rolling, we see that this catches up momentum and we, we can, for example, we can see with Involve Internet, we can see by the number of likes, shares um, that's, that, that are being linked to um specific news items we can see how good the culture is in your organization so you can basically measure in the beginning and after one year does is my culture better are people more engaged or is it worse than a year ago so this is how you start building a uh, a culture all right let's take it again one notch up level five communication growth um this is sharing from a um, creative centralized mindset. This is uh, sharing the wins of the organization. This is not for one specific person like employee of the month. The, the significance need is one we all have, but there's another need that we all have as, um, as a team member or as a human, which is uh, the need to grow. We all want to learn more. We all want to see uh, people. We all want to grow and we all want to see the organization and people around us grow as well. So um, everybody knows the, the quote, you grow or you die. So what's, um, what do we communicate if we're talking about growth? About growth, um, Awards that are being won, uh, new hires, people joining the team, new projects being launched. Uh, bo uh, projects being um, being successfully delivered, like what we do here is, for example, every um, intranet, every uh, digital workplace that gets launched, we communicate it with everybody to say, hey, we're launching uh, at that day with that organization. Um, great job. So that that's wins you want to share, and that's that's um, you want to you want to create a growth mindset. So you want to have people um focusing on that and it's a part of your culture if if you you always if you share your wins and your growth uh your there you'll create a growth mindset within your organization so um when do you do this well obviously when achieving a goal a win etc but um an important point here is that um 
where does this information come from? Now, okay, who's this for? Everybody, that's obvious. Uh, but where does it come from? Usually we see that um, almost within every digital workplace or intranet environment, um, most of the information comes from the communication department, from the communication experts. I think it's idea. Uh, it's we all want the business to be more uh, active in there, and we do see organizations where um, different managers, business unit managers, or C level people are even sharing uh, news. Um, but in ninety percent of the cases, we see that it's it's all gathered, all um, all created by the communication department. So it's usually the internal communication expert that gets the information out of the business, that gathers it, and that um, shares it with the entire organization. So where do we need to get, to get that information? Well, we need to get it from each team leader and the managers. This is where we need to get, um, uh, to get all um, the growth aspects, all the wins within the organization. And we need to communicate it from a more holistic uh, point of view, from a, uh, from a organization, perspective it's not like level three level three is this is the employee of the month congratulations this is more like look at we what we achieved we created this value for this organization let's help the next organization and let's grow together uh, to help more organizations okay this is level five one up we're almost there level six contribution um when is this type of communication important um, in times when everything goes great and the organization is growing fast you're achieving your goals and usually that's when we see that the 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 amount of communication it usually goes down we would we would expect everything goes better there's people there's more people we keep rising but instead of rising we see that the communication slow down slows down why because everybody's so focused on their day-to-day -day job and when everything when everything is great you usually communicate less let's uh, take the example of any relationship um, if the relationship is great you expect it to go great forever and you just go you're you go with the flow you go you get back to the day-to-day -day normal and you communicate less when things go bad that's when people start communicating so this is one of the the pitfalls we usually see within organizations that have um that have that are growing well they're growing organically there's like a lot of people joining the organization um then we see so we sometimes see that that they tend to communicate less but if you want to get everybody um focused if you want to keep people involved you need to have a higher um a higher value here you need to have a higher goal and that's where this uh contribution comes in how do we make the world a better place and whether you're in banking in 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 construction it doesn't matter which vertical you're in which business you're in you always make uh, somebody's life better um so what do we communicate we communicate the values the missions, the thank yous from customers, the testimonials from customers. This is what we communicate. It's great to have all that communication outside and on our website and when there's a great project being delivered and, and how we made somebody's life better. It's great to have that on Facebook. It is very important to have that on your own digital workplace or internet as well. So we definitely uh, motivate people to share this as well. We see there's um, we see that this makes like um, uh this is like a tipping point for people to stay longer in the organization why do we communicate better well we want to have every, everybody engaged we want to have everybody involved that's where our name comes from we want everybody to be involved in the contribution in the value that we deliver to organizations so um one uh sh should you really uh, be aware of this okay if you're going fast your organization is changing fast or growing fast be aware of this don't forget but you need to you can you need to communicate um the values the mission the vision and the thank yous from customers as well where does this information come from well 
like I said before, usually from the communication department, this takes time and effort to get that information out of the business. Um, so you need to get it from the team leaders, from C-level. Who is it for? For everybody within the organization. Doesn't matter. Every level in the organization, whether it's uh, whether it's somebody um, cleaning the toilets or uh, the CEO, everybody needs to know why they're doing what they're doing. How is this done? If we see this um, in uh, on Evolve Intranets, well, usually there's um, news items combined with short videos and um, personal pictures. So this is level six. Uh, if you want, this is really important. Like the first levels, this these are like the certainty and the significance. But if you wanna, if you want people to stay longer, people that are happy in their jobs. Uh, are happy working at your organization, so they're they're not worried about the survival of the organization. If you want people to stay longer, to be more engaged, to be better, to be more involved, you need to focus on the level five and level six type of communication. And level seven, it's what 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 I call the the integrated level. This is really personal um, personal information getting. Uh, to know the people uh, behind the role, behind the job, right? This is um, this is very personal. This is people explaining in uh, short videos, news, etc., why they're in the organization, why they're doing what they're doing, um, and why you should give, uh, why you should care as well. Uh, leaders should give the example here. We have some. Great examples of leaders uh, doing this for the organizations that are congruent, that are consistent, that are really um, examples of great leadership um, communicating and communicating to their uh, to the to the organization. So, when are when is this usually done? This is usually done on a uh, periodical. Um, this is not done like daily, weekly, or you shouldn't do this uh, daily because it wouldn't be um, wouldn't be um, honest or authentic anymore. So you should do this periodically, depending uh, on how large your organization is. If you're only in one country, or if you're in different countries, you should definitely do this uh, per country. Um, so periodically, why? Well, um, because you want to know the story behind the people. Um, what do we communicate? Well, we communicate stories. Why did I start here? Why, why am I staying here? Um, uh, what triggers me? Because um, people will connect and will align here and you'll get to a higher goal uh, by sharing this. Where does this information come from? Again, communication department, you'll have to create this. This is harder to create. That's why we do see that less organizations are doing this level seven uh, because it's harder. Uh, these are different stages of awareness, like I said. Um, and this is harder than just communicating level one, level two. Um, who is it for? Everybody. It can inspire everybody within the organization. Uh, it is important to, to do this throughout the different levels. Um, we have, for example, one of our customers in uh, Belgium here. They do it for people uh, in the organization and they share it on, online as well. Uh, so they post it on Facebook, on their website. Um, and this is a transportation company that has, I think, 6,000 people. So um, how is this done? Usually the short videos, news items that get posted, that get pushed to the mobile app, to the, um, to, uh, for the desktop workers on the internet. Um, important here that it's uh, very personal um, and that it's very authentic. So these are the seven levels that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, now, let me just end, uh, let me stop sharing my screen. That will make it easier. Mm -hmm. Disable screen sharing. All right, should be able to see me. So these are, these are the different levels that we see people um, be, that are being used within organizations. The, um, 
depending on where you are, you say, oh, we do that. Well, um, look at what you're not uh, doing within the organization. Uh, you're probably missing one or two. And depending on your level of awareness or your level of consciousness, um, people, there's going to be people that are worried about their job in your organization. That are There's going to be people that don't feel uh, appreciated. There's going to be people looking for um, a better culture. There's going to be people looking... Uh, asking asking themselves what are what am I contributing what what am I doing here um, so if you're using if you're looking at the entire pyramid and um, if you're focusing on every need there in the pyramid you can come up with some ideas on how to connect to those people within your organization and it could be obviously that the person in level two today is in level three or four um or higher next month or in six months but it's important why do we communicate well people are the most important aspect of every organization um we want people to stay to be happy to be involved and to stay longer within our organization that's the bottom line we want them to be more productive obviously as well this is definitely possible with um, the technology today but that's not the only thing so all right I stopped my sh screen sharing a little bit too early, but I had some question and answers. So I had one slide with the question and answers. Does anybody have any questions and answer uh, questions for me? Okay, let me just check. All right, so level some examples about level four. Let me just go there. Okay, connection. Um, so some examples about connection. Um, best thing, connection, like I said, these are uh, cultural. Uh, what we usually see, if you wanna measure this, what we usually see here is uh, teams being created, groups being created, initiatives being launched. Um, and um, we usually we can measure this. So um, another way, to, the easiest way to do this is create a news item and uh, allow the posts or the replies, so the the social aspects on every news item, and then you can uh, easily measure this in the um, involve analytics, um, how well uh, some news posts are doing, and what kind of uh, connection you get with the people. Afterwards, if you're saying, okay, I want to create a group, um, you can involve is a complementary um, um, infrastructure or solution, obviously. You can take, if you want to have like really open conversation, you can take it to Teams, you can take it to Jammer, depending on what you want. That's why we live in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem as well. All right, does, um, all right, does involve help you to put in place an internal communication strategy yes we do uh, we have some experts here and uh, depending on the stage you're at we can definitely help you with uh, creating a strategy as well so um we have different strategy workshops and yeah we've do, we've been doing this um depending on the organization we work together with a team of different people usually this is a team of two people um helping you go through the different stages of uh, the workshops and depending on where you are, I, I have to say, I think most of it is done online. Okay, um, another question. Could you give me, if you, uh, Kaber, if you want some more information, you definitely need to contact uh, Ken. Um, okay, so stages one and two, and how do you measure in which level a company is positioned? Okay, um, one and two. This is survival. This is usually in case of great uncertainty. What we, this, um, the human needs or the, the, the levels we see here, levels of consciousness are the same, level one and two. Um, we're, we're talking about primal needs and the need for certainty. Um, examples here, certainty are the, the COVID, all the changes. We had so many changes with people on um, mobile workers. Can I enter a customer site? Uh, how do I greet a customer? Do I need to stay away? What happens? So this is all pushed with, um, this is all 
shared centrally. You create a news item and then you push it to all the mobile apps. You can use a mandatory read so you, you know how many people have read it. Um, these are all examples, like everything that had to do with uh, COVID. Another one, if you're looking for uh, protocols or procedures, that can definitely be done uh, within Evolving Trends as well. We have like uh, procedure books, the search engine, uh, who has read the procedure, who has acknowledged the procedure. So you can do a lot of procedure management within uh, Involve and obviously SharePoint as well. Um, other question. Um, okay. Uh, oh, uh, good, Andres. Um, how do you measure where, at which level a company, a company is positioned? Um, these level of the levels of awareness are um, personal, right? So these different levels are personal, but you can definitely um, there are some. Um, there's a mood meter. I know there's a, the mood meter we use, and the mood meter um, it's it's used by one of our partners. If you want some more information about that, just contact uh, Ken as well. Uh, I'll share the email afterwards. Um, the Moot Meter is a survey we do um, in the organization, and that helps you uh, evaluating, okay, where are we um, at the different levels? How's every department doing? So depending on how large the organization is, you're going to do purely by email, or you can do some workshops as well. That depends on what you're looking for. Um, okay, level five and six, one question from Kathleen. Um, should be most focused on. Okay, so level five and six are the growth and uh, the contribution. Um, depending on where your organization is, right? Depending on where most of the pe people are. Um, if you want to build a culture, if you really want to build a culture, you start at level four. But a culture without a growth plan or without a higher vision is is good. It can work for a while. But after a while, you're going to need the higher vision. You, you're going to need to integrate the mission, the values of the organization to create a culture. A good thing is to start, culture for me is to start, hey, let's do this together. Let's do that together. Let's connect. This is, but then if you connect, you build the culture from down up, right? So that's that's great. If you if you start connecting with people, people um, will will start building a culture from down up. But if you're starting, if you if you integrate the values, the thank yous, the mission of the organization, you'll create um, you'll create a lot more than just a culture. You'll create um, an environment. You'll create a tribe uh, of people that are going somewhere together. That's uh, that's the difference. So you want to integrate both. You want to work your way from down up, um, but you definitely want to, to to have that contribution part in there as well. Okay, and then another question, is it possible to implement this type of methodology on a department or unit level? Okay, uh, no, you can you can start, um, you can start this methodology on a department level. We, we have this, um, depending on how big the department is, obviously, um, but we have this as a proof of concepts that we see organizations doing this like, okay, we know we need to do something, but we don't know if um, on how to how to do this because this is the first time. So okay, then what we usually do is we we do this together. But you can definitely start uh, doing this on a more uh, department level uh, within a small group. This is what for the uh, for the big transportation company here. This is a public transportation company. But we've done as well. We started with a small group of people. We started um, using the platform as a communication tool, and we saw it had uh, some really good uh, metrics, some good good um, results there. And then we we usually take it to different departments. We do this as well for um, on a higher level. We do this for international companies as well. We we start with one country, and then we onboard different countries afterwards. This is good to do. You can use this methodology. Um, on a department as well. But I would definitely say make it at least 50, make it at least 50 people or 30 to 50, not less than, not, not 10 people because it's not going, you're not going to have enough content and it's not going to have the same, uh, the same results. Okay. All right. Awesome. So, 
Um, we're done. We're through our uh, question and answers. If you have uh, any more questions, yeah, you can always contact us. Look, take a look at our website or go to um, or contact Ken or myself uh, by email. We're more than happy to help you with all uh, with all of your questions. And I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing you again in a uh, next webinar. Take care and have an amazing day.